Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla formally moves headquarters to Austin, Texas. Tesla Giga Texas to produce the safest ATV in the market, alongside the Cybertruck. Elon Musk drives the nail in the coffin of Model 2 moniker. The new Tesla Roadster finally gets an updated release date. And Tesla China increases range of performance Model 3 with battery size change. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Elon Musk announced that Austin, Texas has formally become the site of the company's main headquarters. The update was shared at the 2021 shareholders meeting. I'm excited to announce that we'll be moving our headquarters to Austin, Texas, Elon Musk said, to much applause at the latest annual shareholders meeting. Texas, the new place in Tesla's operations, may not come as a surprise to those following the developments surrounding the company's newest gigafactory. Elon Musk's other companies have seemingly moved to Texas as well, including the Boring Company. The Tesla CEO listed a few milestones that Giga Texas might hit in the near term. He estimated that Giga Texas Model Y production could start by the end of this year and would probably reach volume production by the end of next year. Musk predicted that Tesla would deliver a few Model Y vehicles from Giga Texas this year. Even though Tesla is moving its headquarters to Texas, the company will still operate its factory in Fremont and Nevada. In fact, Tesla plans to increase the Fremont factory and Giga Nevada's capacity. Musk also remarked that while 4680 cell production in Texas will not be starting soon, Tesla's pilot line at Cato Road, which is only a mile away from the Fremont factory, would have enough capacity for now. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Texas, to produce the safest ATV in the market, alongside the Cybertruck. Tesla Giga Texas will produce the Cyberquad, the ATV, that debuted alongside the Cybertruck. The Cyberquad gained popularity after its appearance during the Cybertruck unveiling, even appearing in one of Travis Scott's music videos. So we're definitely making the Cybertruck here, reaffirmed Elon Musk at the recent annual shareholders meeting, referring to Giga Texas. And so probably the ATV too, he added. When he talked about Tesla's ATV, Musk was referring to the Cyberquad. The Tesla CEO provided a few details about the upcoming all-electric recreational vehicle. Musk took particular note with regards to the ATV's safety, stating that since ATVs are inherently dangerous vehicles, Tesla would ensure that the Cyberquad is as safe as possible. The ATV is an interesting design challenge because ATVs are pretty dangerous, and so, we want to make an ATV that is the least dangerous ATV. So if you're gonna ATV, well you might as well have the least dangerous ATV," Musk said. So it will have a really low center of gravity because the battery pack will be down low. And I think we could do some things with the suspension and make it really hard to roll this thing," he thought out loud, listing some of the design ideas Tesla might explore with the Cyberquad. Musk's concerns about ATVs are well-founded. According to the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission, major ATV distributors agreed to stop distributing three-wheel ATVs in the late 1980s due to safety concerns. Most ATVs on the market today have four wheels. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk drives the nail in the coffin of Model 2 moniker. Very few details have been shared about Tesla's upcoming $25,000 electric car. Elon Musk has noted that the vehicle would be Tesla's most difficult endeavor yet, and based on his previous comments, it appears that the upcoming EV would also be equipped with batteries that have an iron-based cathode. More recently, Elon Musk also effectively killed speculations about the vehicle being named the Model 2. The Model 2 moniker largely emerged among the electric vehicle community due to the upcoming car, taking the position below the Model 3 in terms of size and price. According to Musk, however, there is no such vehicle as a Model 2, and that's that. Yeah, Model 2 is not a car. There's no Model 2. The 3 means E. So we were going to call it the Model E, but then, 
Ford threatened to sue us, so we said, well, let's call it the Model 3. So it's S, 3, X, and Y, Musk said. A tentative release date for Tesla's $25,000 car has not been disclosed by the company or its executives, though previous reports from China have suggested that the vehicle would likely be unveiled sooner than expected. Back in August, for example, reports from a prolific auto leaker in China claimed that a prototype of Tesla's $25,000 car had already been completed. This does not mean that the vehicle's production would begin soon, of course, but it does suggest that Tesla is making headway in the development of the car nonetheless. As for the name of the $25,000 car, it's pretty much up for speculation for now. Tesla has taken to naming its recent cars uniquely, as shown by the Cybertruck and its companion, the Cyberquad. Rumors of a robo-van are also abounding. Moving to the next update, the new Tesla Roadster finally gets an updated release date. The next-generation Tesla Roadster has finally received an updated estimated release date. During the 2021 annual shareholder meeting, Tesla CEO Elon Musk remarked that the new Roadster, which would outperform even the frighteningly quick Model S Plaid, would likely see a release date of 2023, barring any unexpected challenges. Musk's update about the all-electric supercar was related, while the CEO was addressing an inquiry about the Cybertruck's production. The Tesla Cybertruck was initially set to enter initial production in late 2021, but the ongoing supply chain shortages, as well as apparent challenges with the 4680-cell production ramp, have pushed the all-electric pickup truck's release to late 2022 instead. Explaining this further, Musk noted that the ramp of its vehicles, like the Cybertruck, would likely depend on how well the company handles its ongoing supply chain issues. If Tesla could accomplish this goal, even side projects, like the release of the next-generation Roadster, could finally happen. Moving to the last update, Tesla China increases range of performance Model 3 with battery size change. Exactly one week after increasing the range estimates for the Model Y, Tesla has now increased the range of the Performance Model 3 in China. According to an update on the Design Studio, the highest trim level of the Model 3 can now travel 675 kilometers or 419 miles on a full charge. That is a 70 kilometers or 43 mile increase over the previous range estimate. Interestingly, the Performance Model 3 range estimate is now based on the new national standard, Comprehensive Operating Conditions Standard. The Standard Range Plus variant, the only other Model 3 type available in China, is still rated on the NEDC rating schedule. Along with the change on the design studio, Tesla China also released information on the reason for the increase. According to the automaker, the battery size has increased from 76 kWh to 78.4 kWh. Although it wasn't confirmed at the time, it is believed the battery size of the Model Y also increased last week, from 75 kWh to 80 or 82 kWh. It would be interesting to see when Tesla brings these changes to the US. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.